got so many classics, please. Hi and welcome, or welcome back if you're a returning watcher. This is It's a Miracle Beauty and I am Brandy. I do my videos on the viewpoint of a consumer. I am just a makeup lover. I'm not a makeup artist. Honing my skills every single day. However, this is a viewpoint of value or if it's a necessity, things like that is the goals of my channel. So in light of that, I'm doing my eyeshadow collection as of today. So this is one that I did not foresee going this way in the beginning of the year. I had made no buy decisions, things like that. I did really good for the first part of the year. And then epidemic happened. My shopping habits changed with the stress, which I am working on. However, I also got a lot of good ideas that I wanted to work on and then either bought, received, or um, traded for palettes that I wanted for those ideas. So I'm going to try to start with drugstore first. I have them separated, but I don't have them harshly separated. I don't have a ton of room in my filming area, so I couldn't like do 20 piles, but I do have them separated. I'm going to try to keep them as close together as brand and like section expensive or not as much as I can. If you like collection videos, I hope you'll give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started on my eyeshadow collection. So, the first one I see is one I have not used yet. It is relatively new. I had a coupon for it and a gift certificate to the store that bought it. So this is the Mag Magnifies Color Edition. It does look like this. This is a really pretty palette. I actually am going to put this in my everyday drawer for September so that I remember to use it. Next is Ellie Girl Nudes. This is an exact dupe for the Naked 3. I think it's the Naked 3. So it does have more rosy tones but it is neutrals. Next one I got free at Ulta is a free gift because I bought some um, Makeup Revolution and this is the Brave Spirit. Looks like that. Next is the Catrice Pro Slim Eyes Next Gen Nudes. This is a dupe for the um, Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. If you look at it, it has some of the similar shades. Next is Essence Gaudet Sydney. I will tag up in the corner my full face of Essence. This is not a very good palette. I don't love it, but I am keeping it for comparison sakes in the future. Another one that I really don't like is the Hello Charmers by BoxyCharm. I really found this not to be very usable. There's a couple shades in here that are literally unusable, and it just isn't a very quality palette. Next is one that I love, but I haven't used a ton, but when I used it, I did like it, is the Avocado Palette by um, I Heart Revolution does look like this. It is a great green palette. Next is one I got on Clarence Ulta. I believe it was like $4 or $3. I actually wasn't super interested in it, but I bought it because of the price, which shows because I've only used it once. I may at some point do a declutter. I'm not interested in it right now because I feel like every time I declutter, I feel pressure to declutter a lot, and then I declutter things I actually still love. So I'm not doing that at the moment, but it is in the pipeline once I use more of these. Next is the e.l.f. collab with Jay Kissa, and I did put my stickers on mine. And I have not used this one yet. I have swatched, but I have not used it. I actually have a look I'm working on that I actually want to use it for. Next is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted. It does look like this. And the inside looks like... I have filmed my full face of Full Face Friday for this palette. However, for L'Oreal, I have not posted yet. Next, with ColourPop, I have the Blue Moon does look like that. My favorite is just my look. This one is just my absolute favorite. I do love green and yellow eyeshadows, but this one definitely has got some love. Uh-huh, honey, I have used, but not a lot. So it does look like this. Next is the double entendre. Looks like this. This one I should have never bought. I will be honest. I have used it, but I knew that I'm not into neutrals. I knew that just isn't my thing. I do wear neutrals, but I don't like all neutral palettes. I knew that going in, so I never should have purchased that one. But what are you going to do? I made a mistake. Next, I'm Juvia's Place. This is the Nomad palette. I got this as another one I got on sale for, I believe, 40% off, and I wanted it purely for these two shades up here. They're like a mustard and a green. They're absolutely gorgeous. My first Juvia's Place palette was the Nubian. I got this one as a comparison for my like mini naked and I actually like Juvia's Place better. Then I have the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place. This is a gorgeous palette. My favorite by Juvia's Place is the Zulu. It does look like this. 
and it does look like this. This is another one that there's certain shades I tap into more. Like this one has a lot of use and this one has a lot of use, but I need to use it more. It's very colorful, so I love to add a pop of color using that palette. So back to Makeup Revolution. I have two by Sofax. I have the, let's see, her original palette, and then I have the Extra Spice. They do look like this. So the original looks like this. I did just get these in the last, I would say three weeks at TJ Maxx. I paid less than 50% for them. So that was a great option. And the spice looks like that. So I have one last Revolution palette that I see anyways right now. And this is my first ever um, eyeshadow palette by them. This is the Maker Revolution um, Ultra Eyeshadows. It does look like this. And this is in Flawless. I loved this palette for a long time. Like if you could see a lot of the shades are well loved. It was one of my palettes I first actively really like look like used without rotating like I just left it in there for a while and I had a smaller collection then so when I rotated it was noticeable because I had a lot of use out of my palettes next I have a NYX this is the NYX ultimate I don't know if it has a ultimate smoky and highlight looks like this it's another one I got with points and um, a sale it was buy one get one like 40% off at Ulta and so I actually bought some uh, foundation and got this for half off and then I used points so I paid even less it does look like this I love the greens and blues and stuff in here this thing is so pretty next is one I received in my glossy box this is by style and it's hypnotic eyes this is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda and this formula actually is really good I didn't get rid of it despite owning the Huda because the formula was so good and it's so affordable next I have the burgundy palette by Maybelline. This is not open yet, so I'm not going to open it just in case I want to give it away. Next is the new, Fresh Nude Collection. And it does look like that on the inside. This is a dupe for the Reloaded palette from Urban Decay. And then I have the CoverGirl Chocoholic. This is probably my fifth palette of this. It did change names to chocolate along the way. It was like a brown name. Like I don't remember the exact name, but it was something like Neutral Browns. So this is what it looks like. Next is a Maybelline Quad. This is in Chai Latte. And it does look like that. So I do own all of the e.l.f. mini palettes, the um, bite-sized palettes. They are $3 each, and the vast majority of them work really, really well. So my favorite is the Hot Jalapeno. That does look like this. Then this is the... That one. I think it's KCI or ACI. I can't remember say that word. U is what that one's called. This is the Carnival Candy. I do have links of four of these. I will link a playlist. My so called Life 1987, her name is Nona, and I did a collab where we each did four of them for four weeks. So they all got reviewed. So the next one is Truffles. Does look like that. And Pumpkin Pie. Cream and Sugar and Pumpkin Pie. These are very similar toned. And then the last two are Rose Water and Berry Bad. It does look like this. So that is the e.l.f. I do have a small Pacifica. This is the Wild Hemp. I got this in Ipsy. I do keep this because it is convenient to put in your purse if you have a small purse. So I keep it for that need. I don't have a problem with Pacifica's um, formulation. I do think it's fine. I have two Jouer palettes. Jouer. I have the Essential Jet Set. It does look like this. It does look like that. And then I have the Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. I got this one on a dramatic clearance on their website. I believe it was in my first purchase. I think I had a discount as well for being a subscriber of their um, mailing list. I think I only have one Ace Beauty. This is the Vintage Dawn. It's another one that I love the color story, but haven't used it a ton, so I do want to start using that one more. I have the Mood by Ruby May. I love this palette. It's actually stunning. I've used it a ton. Marc Jacobs, I only have one. This is the Glambition. I'm not a big fan of his formula. I just, I know some people love it, but it just wasn't for me. So this isn't getting as much use as it should with its price tag. Then we have Makeup Forever. I did just film my Makeup Forever full face. I think that will be up um, when this posts. I think that will already be up. If not, it will be the Friday after. It does look like that. That one in that video, I talk about how it's just not enough pigment. The shades actually don't stay. They kept blending away. It just was a real mess for me. I have a Makeup Institute. I believe this is called the Oasis palette. It does look like this. I still haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or not. That's why the packaging still is on it. I might send this to my daughter or um, 
throw it on Mercari. I'm just not sure yet. I have a few from Alter Ego. I actually love their formula. I think it works really well. I have the Daydream, which I will link the video of this review down below. I did do, I believe, two looks. It does look like that. It's a copy of the Huda Beauty New Nude. I have the Goddess, which is a copy of the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I don't own the gold palette, the full gold palette, but I have the mini, and it is literally one of my favorites. It does look like that. So the next one, I have the Aurora Palette. This is another copy of the Natasha Denona. I believe it's the Sunset. I always mix them up, but the smaller one looks like that. Then I have the Artemis palette. This is the brand new one that is a copy of the Metropolis palette. I actually am working on a comparison video, so it does look like that because I do own the Metropolis. Next we have Colored Rain. I do have, let's see, I think three palettes by Colored Rain plus a ton of singles. This is the Queen of Hearts palette. I wanted this forever. It was sold out all the time. And then now that I have it, I've only used it a few times, which is just so stupid. But it is what it is. Next is Beauty Rust by Colored Rain. This is one that was in my pan challenge last year and I still would like to pan. Especially these two shades right here. This middle one and this one over here. I would love to finish panning those. I have the Smoke Show. I did get this in my mystery box. And I don't believe... Oh, it looks like I have used it a couple times at least. I see a little bit of use on that one. That one's a pretty um, color story but it's more dramatic so I have to like use it for certain things in my opinion. Ooh. Dominique Cosmetics. I have three. I have the Sweater weather one. I don't love this palette despite loving her formula. That one is just not good for me. Next I have the Celestial Storm. I love this color story and the formula works really good as well. And then I have Rustic Glam. It does look like this. And the inside looks like this. I did just get this I think for $12 as an Ipsy add-on so I did not pay full price for that one. I have two of Hank and Henry. Makeup and Suit and Hank and, Hank and Henry are sister companies. I got these in my mystery box. I have the Poison, like that. I love that color story. And then the Teddy, looks like that. And that color story is amazing as well. Looks absolutely stunning. I only have one Butter London. It is another one that I believe I got an Ipsy Plus or Boxy. But probably was Boxy actually now that I think about it. I love this one. It works really, really well. I have three Dose of Colors. I have the Frankation palette. This is one of my top five of all time palettes. It is well loved because it is one of my favorite palettes that have ever been released. Like not from one brand, like ever. I also have her Baked Browns. These are the old packaging. She has changed the packaging in these now. I These mattes to me are there's no, nothing it compares. Maybe in a different way Natasha Denona does or Pat McGrath, but hers are different. Like I never used mattes other than for under my foil or under my shimmer. And now I will do a whole matte look with these palettes because they just look so pretty. This is the berries. Like that. And I believe I purchased one of these and then I received the other ones in a box if I'm not mistaken. So next is the Wander Beauty Wander Seascape. I think this is the only one I have left from Wander. I did get a bunch in a box and I totally was parting ways with them. So I did miss one ColourPop. I do have the So Jaded palette. This one is another one that's absolutely stunning. I don't use pressed glitters, so two of the shades are a waste, but the rest of it is really good. I have three Pat McGrath palettes. I have the Mothership, I think this is seven, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it's six. Yeah, Mothership six. So it does look like this. This is a palette that I like lusted after forever and it did not let me down. I got it. I love it. It's amazing. It just it performs always every single time. And then I have two of the mini palettes that were sold at Sephora. I got these on sale at Sephora. This is the Subversive and the Sublime. They look like this. This is the Subversive. Looks like that. And then the Sublime looks like that. I have not used the Sublime as much as the Subversive, but they are both beautiful palettes. I only have one from Oma Beauty. This one I just got on sale on their website, and this is the Savage palette. Looks like this. And looks like this. It is just gorgeous. I cannot wait to use it. I am working on a full face of Oma Beauty. They don't sell every product, but they do sell enough. I just found another Hank and Henry. This is the Living in Color. This was in a boxy charm, but a friend actually sent this to me. Shout out to Dee Dee. That was from Dee Dee Decor Beauty, so if you want to check her channel out, she's an amazing channel. Just a really loving, sweet person. And then I have the Storybook Cosmetics. These are all from Boxy Charms. So I have the big one, which is Little Briar Rose. It looks like that. Have Robin Hood, which looks like that. And then I have Little Red Riding Hood, which looks like that. 
These are not my favorite for formula or the fact that, like, look how big that is. It's just not my favorite for the formula or the fact that it takes so much to store them. I only have one Charlotte Tilbury. This is one I just recently got. They had a gift pack where you got, like, a contour palette. You got the eyeshadow palette and the eyeliner and maybe a lip. I can't remember, but it does look like this. And then it was there was a 40% savings by doing that. does look like this. Her palettes like make me crazy. Them and her and Tom Ford, they'll be like the smallest palettes and be so expensive. But this is the first time I'm using her formula and I wanted the contour palette and it worked to be not much more than the contour palette pricing to get that pack. So that's why I did it. I do have the Controversy palette by Unknown and Unknown. I have used this, although after the like everything started, I haven't used it. It just, I just don't want to use it, but I did pay for it. So I am going to try to use it up despite all the drama. I have the Escape Pad from Kaleidos Cosmetics. It does look like this. And it does look like this. This one's gorgeous. It literally is just a stunning eyeshadow palette. Next I'm going to do Violet Voss. I do have her Pro Palette. It looks like this. I got this. I think that was my first BoxyCharm I got that in. And then I got Sugar Crystals. This was for resubscribing to BoxyCharm one time. I had not been a member for a couple months. And when I resubscribed, they did send this to me. This is a gift from Ipsy for signing up for Ultimate. It is the Berry Burst. It does look like this. I do love Violet Voss's formula. I think it's absolutely unbeatable. This is the Essentials Palette 1. Right there. And it does look like that. This is the Essentials 2. I actually got this in my Boxy Charm. I'll link that in the cards and down below for August. And that one is another beautiful palette. In the um, Boxy Charm, I don't remember if it was add-ons or pop-up. I did get the Best Life um, palettes 1 and 2 by Violet Boss. And they do look like this. See, I still have the sleeves in them. They're all falling. 2 it looks like this. That is what the 2 looks like. I did forget to show my Kaleidos. This is the Futurism palette, Astro Pink. It does look like this, and it looks like that. So that is another Kaleidos makeup palette. I did just find a couple more cheaper or um, drugstore pricing or similar to drugstore. This is the Morphe X That Guy, and it looks like that. Again, I'm not. I've already paid for it. I'm not going to get rid of it purely because I don't support him anymore. However, I already spent my money so I'm gonna try to get my money's worth which is like a joke but whatever this is the original Jacqueline and it is the original formula and then this one was not a drugstore but it wasn't super expensive I bought it for $30 and for the amount of shades that you get that is amazing and I'm just gonna say their quality they actually work shout out to Teresa is dead for talking about this because I would have never picked this up if I hadn't seen her video and it does work really well. It's like a little laptop. It was school time last year they released that. So they had like a pencil and like theme things and all that. So I did see her review and honestly she didn't lie. She was not fibbing. She was not exaggerating. The palette works amazing. Next I'm going to do Too Faced. I have a few Too Faced palettes. I actually had gotten rid of almost all of mine. I had the Bon Bon. I had the chocolate. I got rid of them when I decluttered last year. But during the holidays I did get a half off or maybe I used points. I don't remember. There was a reason I bought it because it wasn't full price. Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy. Look like that. And this one again doesn't disappoint. It works really really well. I have the Too Faced Mattes. I actually, some one of my good friends received this in a box and gave it to me. Well, we traded for it. I just found a TJ Maxx recently. This is the Too Faced Pretty Rich. And it does look like that. This is another company that I'm not really actively supporting, although it doesn't seem like it with these palettes. But I don't ever pay full price for things. I always try to get them on a deal, a special, whatever. In fact, the exception to that probably in the last year is I just purchased their new matte foundation. I'm actually wearing it today. I think it looks really good. And that one I did pay full price. So that was the first one in a long time. These ones I actually paid 75% off at Ulta. These are Too Faced. This is the Tutti Frutti Collection. This one is a dupe for the gold palette. The golds in there just work absolutely fantastic. And this one I have not used yet, but this is the Papaya Pop Eye. And this is part of the Too Faced um, Tutti Frutti collection. Looks like that. These are the Milani Salt and Peppa palettes. I got these on clearance at Ulta. They are clearancing them out, and I had a discount, so did not pay full price for these. They originally marked $9.99. They actually rang up lower, and then also I, again, used points. 
So I think Ulta gets a lot more of my business because their reward system is a lot better. What is going on with the hair here? I have three Natasha Denona palettes. I have the Tropic palette. I did get this on clearance at Sephora. I have only dabbled. I have not really used it yet. I do plan on it. I just haven't got to. The Safari, which I have used, again, on clearance at Ulta. I understand that there's some, like, love-hate relationship with this. I really feel like there were some duds that went out of this one because mine works fantastic, and I know other people love it, too, so I kind of think maybe there was a bad shipment or something like that. And then lastly is the Metropolis palette. It does look like that. So those are my Natasha Denona palettes. I do have a Milani. I received this in my Chic Beauty box. It is sealed, so I'm not going to open it just in case I decide to declutter it. They could have a brand new one. I did just come across another Milani. This is the most wanted. This one has really pretty shimmers in it. So that one is another one that I received. And I received... I don't know if that was a gift with purchase or if I used points on that. I just remember I didn't pay full price. That's all I remember because I really am a bargain hunter. I try not to pay full price if I can help it. A one-off that I have is the Smoke Sessions palette. Melt Cosmetics recently did a sale for, I, I can't remember the amount. It was like 40 or 50% off on their website. So I did purchase this one because um, it's green and yellow. So who wouldn't want that? Another one-off I received this month in, this month in a box is Nomad. If you can tell, I received a ton of palettes this month. It kind of contributed to my decision to actually stop receiving boxes for a little while. I need to use up some of what I have and stop receiving so much. This is Bailey Sarian, my favorite. This is her Venice Fling with Estate Cosmetics. I almost said Nomad. And that does look like that. I am working on a look for that one as well. In my Ipsy... Plus, I think in July, I received this one. This is by Seraphine Botanicals, and this is the Sakura and Sage. Hopefully I said that right. It is a face palette and eye palette. I actually didn't include my other combos in this because I wasn't going to, but I forgot this one actually had a face portion in it. I have the Zueva Aristo. does look like that. And the inside does look like that. That one is just a very neutrally but very good working palette. I initially kind of wasn't in love with it, but the more I use it, I do like it a lot. Again, this month I received the Seattle London Editor Palette, New England. This is one that was in BoxyCharm Premium this month. Every single person that was subscribed prior to the month starting did get that. I have the Pure Festival Palette, and it does look like this. Again, I won't be using these pressed glitters over here, but the rest of the palette... I actually talked about in my unboxing that I received this in the Pure Mystery Box. I had gotten rid of my Pure Festival palette, I would given it away, and then I got another one in. So I decided, that must be fate. If I'm getting the same palette more than once, I must keep it. So next we're going to Huda Beauty. I'm not going to go through every one of these individually because there is just so many of them, but I do own all of the Obsessions, the original, and all of the nude. I have not purchased the nude ones, but I have Amethyst, Emerald, Topaz, and Smoky right there. Then I have Coral, Electric, Ruby, Sapphire, Gemstone, Mauve, and Warm Brown. These were, for me, a collection thing. I got into them. I do like the formula. I know not everyone does, but I did like them, and so I did work on it. I did get some pretty cheap by Mercari, brand new and never used, or lightly used prior to the pandemic. And then there is the neons that look like this, but is the neon palettes. Also from Huda, I have her Rose Gold palette. I did receive this in my Huda Beauty mystery box. And it does look like this. Last year around Christmas, I purchased as a gift to myself the Mercury Retrograde, and I have never regretted it. Like, this palette is so loved, and it is such a gorgeous palette. So that's definitely one that I love. So let's do... Oops, I forgot one one-off. I have a Petite Pro by Viseart. This is the Petite Pro 3, and it does look like... Let me take the packaging off. It does look like that. This is very good for neutrals or a smoky eye. It actually works for both. I actually am not in love with the formula because the way people talk about it, I thought it would be like, you know, knock my socks off. And I didn't feel that was the case. It's not bad. It just isn't something that I'm like, holy cow. So let's do Natasha Dona Minis next since I already did her big palettes. I have the Mini Nude. Does look like that. I have the Mini Retro, which is my least favorite. I have the Mini Sunset. I have the Mini Tropic. I have the Mini Lila. I have the Mini Glam. I have the Mini Gold. And I have the Mini Star. Those look like that. So those are some of my favorite palettes of all time. Not like just comparing Natasha Nona. The Mini Gold is literally like if I could only have one palette that probably would I pick. 
So let's do Smashbox next. I have three eye palettes from Smashbox that are the minis and then I have the full size. So the full size one is called LA Cover Shot. It does look like this. This is another one I traded with a friend for because I did not receive it in my um, BoxyCharm. So she did and we traded for it. I have the Minimalist Eye Makeup Palette. Again, by Smashbox. This is just a nude. I received this free with a gift with purchase. And then I have the Major Metals. This one I purchased when it was on sale. I love it, but it's not one that I just think to reach up because it's all shimmers, so it's kind of a waste. And then I have the Nova. The Nova is a very pretty purpley palette. You can do awesome smoke looks with that. If we move on to Tarte, I have three Tarte palettes that I can think of. At least for eyes. I know I have more for face, but I have the pineapple palette. This is one that I'm panning out and I did pan last year. I'm not really using these face products over here, but these eyeshadows I am. I've already hit pan on one and I'm nearing hit panning on more. So that is that one. My very first Tarte palette and probably one of my first high end. It wasn't the first, but it was one of the first is Don't Quit Your Daydream. It does look like that. And it is just a neutral palette. This was my go-to work palette. And then again, traded with a friend for this one because she doesn't like eyeshadow. Does it look like that? That is the Tarte Pro Remix. So Fenty, I have all of Fenty's eyeshadows, I believe. Um, I have the two new ones on the way to me. I do collect the snap shadows. So I'm just going to real quick show you these easy style. So that is one. That is one. That is one. And that is one. That one's my favorite so far, although the green one's on the way, and I love green. And then the last two are these. These are all shimmers and the smoky one. So that is the mini snap shadows. I have both of her bigger ones. This is the Moroccan Spice. This is another one that was given out in BoxyCharm. I did give mine as a prize because I already owned it. And the Galaxy. This is more of a topper palette. It is not a use by yourself palette unless you like only a shimmer. I did just find more color rain. I forgot I had. These are the mini palettes. So one is I is the Vineyard and one is the Mimosa. So the Vineyard does look like this. Very pretty purpley palette. I do love their formula. I think it works really great. This is the Mimosa moment and this is just a neutral palette. That one may end up going to my daughter. I'm not sure yet because I don't I have enough neutral palettes. I honestly don't need it but I just don't know if she wants it yet. Pick Perfect by the Balm. Could not get it open to save my life. That looks is the inside. I got that for, I think, $8 or $9. Maybe it was $12. I don't think so, though. I think it was one of the smaller ones, like 6 at Ipsy Add-On. I found another Colored Rain. This is Colored Rain Power. As you can see, I do love Colored Rain. It's one of my favorite brands. And it looks like this. This one makes the coolest... Purpy. 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 Purple Smoky Eye. It's absolutely stunning. So I do have the Anastasia Big Palette number 3. And it does look like this. And then I have a mini collection. This is volume one mini. This was on clearance for $14.15. I believe our Ulta still has some. So that is that one. I have the Sultry palette. It does look like this. This is probably my least used palette by them. It's not that it's bad. It's just not something I reach for on a regular basis. This is the Norvina. This is the Riviera. Look like that. This is the Modern Renaissance. It does look like that. This is the Carly Bible, which I have on my eyes today. I love this palette. I am almost hitting pan in three shades already. And I guess not already. It's like a year old now, but to me, that's already. And then Jackie Anna's palette, which is another one of my top five favorites. So that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Last, I have Urban Decay. So I did get this palette at half off at Ulta, and my, I believe it still is half off. This is the Wired palette. It had really mixed reviews, so I got nervous, but I found it to be very highly pigmented and work really well. I did a rainbow look for work one day, and it just performed gorgeous. Next is the Honey palette. This is not going anywhere. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites. I actually am going to move it to my everyday drawer so I can use it more. And then I have the Naked Reloaded. For someone who is not a huge Urban Decay eyeshadow fan, I have way too many. Although, I, to be fair, I did not pay full price for anything except for one. So there's that one. That's the Reloaded. And then Born to Run was my first one I actually fell in love with. That is that one. And then lastly is the Urban Decay Ultraviolet. This is the only one I paid full price for. I still love this palette. I gave it a fair review. It's not like knock your socks off, but there are a few shades in here that are just unbeatable completely so i believe that is my entire eyeshadow collection if you like unboxings if you like tutorials if you like collection videos i hope that you would like share subscribe ring the bell for notifications and i hope i see you again soon